So recently we've been seeing a few questions coming up in the JET community forums about working with uh, the JET starter templates in NetBeans itself. Now there are a couple of ways that you can start a project in NetBeans, uh, a JET starter project in NetBeans rather, and one may be better than the other. Matter of fact, one is better than the other. And so I want to kind of point out some of those gotchas and what you should really be doing. Currently in NetBeans, there is the ability to click on new project and under samples, HTML, JavaScript, there is an option for Oracle JET, Quick Start Basic, and another sample of component interactions. These are legacy options. They, they've been there since the beginning uh, when we first started putting JET together. We're actually going to remove these from NetBeans in the future. Right now, NetBeans is in a bit of a static state because it's moving over to Apache NetBeans. It's moving to the Apache Foundation, which is a fantastic move for, for NetBeans but we haven't been able to update it as often as we would like to. So while this option exists, we don't recommend using it. If you do use it, it will work, but it will produce a version of JET that doesn't use the command line tooling. It's just a zip file that it drops onto your project and then you can work with it directly. But it doesn't provide you with any of the build capabilities. It doesn't provide you with any of the abilities that you're going to see in modern blog posts or updated blog posts and updated tutorials and so forth. So we do not recommend using this approach for starting out with a JET project in NetBeans. So if you can't do it that way, how should you do it? Well, follow the instructions off the JET website. That's really the best place to, to go. If you go to oraclejet.org, it will redirect you to this URL, so oraclejet.org, and it will take you over to this particular um, website. The Get Started page tells you how to set, a, set up and actually create a, a, your first project. So you want to install Node, which will install NPM. Really, we don't use Node other than to use NPM itself. Then you'll install the Oracle Jet CLI. Remember to add the scoping of at Oracle slash OJET dash CLI. That'll install it onto your, onto your system. Doesn't matter if it's Linux or Windows or, or uh, uh, a Mac. If you're on Mac, you may have to use a sudo in front of it because in order to install global, you have to have the, the rights on the Mac. Once you've done that, you now have the OJET uh, CLI installed. And it's a simple command, OJET, create, give it some project name, dash dash template equals nav drawer is the same template that's used in the old quick start basic ones that we're, that you see out of NetBeans. So just use that. That's the easiest one. These are four different options that come out of the box. You can use nav drawer or nav bar or basic or blank. Just use one of them. Nav drawer is the one that most people use and, and get started with. Okay. So once you've done that, you're going to have a project that, so if I did OJET, my sample app, uh, oops, let me add the create in there. My sample app, dash dash template equals nav drawer. So I run that and that's going to go off and, and start to create the, the project. How long it takes to create the project completely depends on your internet access because it's going out through NPM across the internet and pulling down all these different files. So we'll let that kind of cook itself for a minute and we'll come back as soon as that's done. Okay, we're done. So you'll see here after it's all done, it's going to give you this big long list of all the libraries that it installed. It's also going to come up and it's going to say, um, your app is ready. Change to your new app directory, my sample app, and try OJET build and OJET serve. So, we're going to go back to NetBeans at this point. Once our project is created, we're good to go. So if I'm over in NetBeans, and now I just say open, so I don't actually have to create a new project. Now I just open a project, and I created mine under NetBeans projects, and it was called My Sample App. You'll notice that this little globe uh, icon is at the front of it. So NetBeans has already noticed or recognized that this is a project and it actually happens to be a node project. So if I just select it and say open project, it'll pop up a little message down here at the bottom. It says project my sample is automatically configured. 
and then it will start scanning the background for me. And that's it. Now it's actually opened up the project and all of the different files and so forth are in here. Um, and now in order to work with the command line, what we want to do is with our project selected over here on the left hand side, I can go to tools and I can say open in terminal. And it opens up a terminal window at the bottom and it actually goes to the directory that I want it to. From here, I can follow the commands that, that all the tutorials and blogs and everything will have. So in this case, I can do an OJET build. When I do this, watch over here in the directory structure for the very first time when I build it. If I do OJET build, it's gonna run all the commands and it's going to actually create this web directory, uh, which is what it says, missing platform defaulted to web, which is fine, we always default to web. So that's gonna build the project for me and it creates everything over. As with everything else you're gonna learn in tutorials and so forth, when you work on these projects, you work in this source directory. The build process will move everything over to web, or if you decide to build hybrid, it'll move it to the hybrid directory for say an Android app or something of that nature. So you can do a lot of things with, with the command line tooling and it really benefits you to work that direction, uh, this, this way. So create it first off a of command line, then turn around and come into NetBeans and work with it from there. I hope this helps out a lot of people. Um, stay away from that uh, sample app in the, uh, in the new and start using the command line interface. You'll be much, much happier and your code will be much easier to follow along in the tutorials and blog posts that you're seeing out on the internet today. Thanks a lot.